The cherry industry is big business in Michigan. However, one pest threatening the fruit is the oblique banded leaf roller. It's a moth that uh, has been a primary pest in apple production systems for years. If you look at the biology of the pest, we know in apples that its most active time, when the larvae are most active and doing the most damage, is exactly when cherry um, harvest is occurring. So it's not surprising really that we're seeing it at cherry harvest, but we've never seen it before because those programs that they use to spray for, you know, to control other, the major pests, always control the OBLR. So what we suspect, but we don't know for sure, is that uh, it's developed resistance in cherry as well. With Michigan being number one in the country in tart cherry production and number four in sweet cherries, it's vitally important for researchers to learn more about the OBLR. It does feed on cherry fruit, but that's not the main problem. When you harvest cherries, mostly they're shaken by a big shaker. And so what happens is that you get this pest in with your fruit in the cooling tanks and it becomes a contaminant pest as opposed to doing direct damage to fruit that they would actually sell. To control the OBLR in apples, scientists are using a pheromone trap. It's tricky, however, to control in cherries because growers have to worry about the timing between harvesting and applying insecticides. Every insecticide has a pre-harvest interval, uh, so how far in advance of harvest can you actually apply the insecticide so that it doesn't, so you don't get residues at harvest? So we don't know what things to recommend or in what way to recommend them right now to be able to control it so it's not a contaminant. Cherry growers initiated the research project. The reason why this project came about was because of communication with, from growers and their concerns about seeing this pest increase in number. Part of the reason why we, started, we wrote this grant to try to un better understand the biology and to figure out whether where there was resistance in the populations was because of grower input. Michigan State University Ag Bio Research, changing the face of science.